Hi, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install additional themes for SpaceMax. So yesterday's video, I went through the install of SpaceMax and let's, let's pull it open there. So if I open it up, I've got the nice dark default theme here. And if I do Alt X and go to, let's see, customize themes, right here, uh, you'll see that I have, let me make this a little bit larger so you actually see what I have. I have Space Max Dark, Space Max Light, uh, Add Weta, Deeper Blue, Dichromacy, Luaven, Light Blue, Mano Dark, Mysterioso, Tango Dark, Tango, TSDH Dark, Light, Wheat Grass, Whiteboard, and Wombat. Those are the default themes, except for the Space Max Dark and the Space Max Light. But let's say you wanted to add a lot of the new cool themes. Well, there's a way we can do that. So let's go to Dear Ed again, and let's fool around with our Space Max, or our dot Space Max file, which is a config file for Space Max. And I'll make this larger for you. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to go down here. Uh, so hopefully we didn't go too far. Maybe we did. Let's go to the top. We want to go to the configuration layers. Let's just search for them. <laughs> ah, here we are, right, right in front of my face. Okay, so right here, the configuration layers. All right, so. Anywhere in here, we're going to want to make a line. So I'm going to just go down here, put a line, and I'm going to type in themes and then mega pack. Okay. And then I'm going to save the file and I'm going to quit and restart Space Max here. And you'll see here that it's contacting uh, uh, basically um, the non GNU. Uh, packages source and it's going and it's downloading 96 themes. So there's going to be basically a hundred themes. So I'm going to pause the video for a moment and then I'll show you how we set one up. Okay, I'm back and it gave me a message that Space Max is ready. So we're going to pick one of these themes and set it as default. So I'm going to run Alt X and customize themes here, which was my, my last command. Uh, and here we go. All right. So You'll see that uh, we're loading up quite a few themes here. Um, there's Zonakai Blue, Zonakai Red. Let's see what Zonakai Red is. Let's just hit, hit Enter and do Yes, Yes. And we'll see. Okay, that's kind of a pink theme. Interesting. Probably not one I'm going to pick. There's Zenburn. Okay, let's uh, load that one. And you have to confirm that you want to load these because they're written in ELISP, so they could run something, but I'm going to trust Space Max here. Um, we've got Granger. I believe that's like a Monokai type theme. Okay, yep. Um, so we can pick a bunch of these themes. Subatomic 256. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's do that. This sounds cool. All right, let's say, well, let's let's pick a little bit different theme. Let's pick Solarized Dark here, because that'll you'll be able to tell when I reload it that yeah, um, it's solarized. Okay, so picking solarized. All right, that's a good solarized. So I'm gonna go back up to the top of the document here and just go down and click save theme settings. And it said custom themes saved for future sessions. We're just gonna exit out and I'm gonna show you when we start back up. Initially, I think it should pop like the regular theme that you have, and then it'll become solarized. So let's watch this. So regular theme. And then we give it a moment, and it goes to solarized. All right, so now I've got the solarized theme. So it does take a moment to start up. Now, remember, I'm filming as well, so that's causing it to be a little bit slower. But it takes a moment, and then it pops on your theme. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I also want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. 
Oh yeah, also subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help the channel grow. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.